Note, you may not have access to some of the example sites shown in this presentation. Just ignore the ones that do not apply to you. Use the ones that can help. It's just possible creating a list of works cited, MLA, or a list of references, APA, is one of the things students dread most when writing academic essays. But there's help. If a task like citing sources must be done in the same way over and over and over, a computer can be used to do much of the drudgery. Citation generators are one of the ways in which computers lighten the burden, but they do not relieve students of knowing how to make corrections. Citation generators use algorithms to construct a citation according to the style guide required. If the correct type of source is selected and the correct information entered, a CG will draft a citation for you. It will put the elements in the correct order and punctuate them correctly. It will even put them in the correct order if multiple sources are cited at one time. This not only saves time, it improves the quality of the citations. It's getting so that citations are creatable in a variety of ways. If you're using Microsoft Word, you can use its embedded CG. There are web-based CGs like BIDME, EasyBib, and Son of Citation Machine. And many of the subscription services provided by colleges, such as EBSCO Host, ProQuest, CQ Researcher, and Gale, have built-in citation generators. Caution, no citation generator is 100% perfect. The writer is responsible for making any corrections needed to conform to the required style. Some word processing applications are including citation generators now. These tend to be the least sophisticated and most prone to error. So if you use one, be sure you understand the elements of citation and make the necessary corrections. Here's how to use Microsoft Word's citation generator. Click the References tab. Select MLA 7th edition from drop-down style list. Click on Bibliography and select Works Cited. Click on Insert Bibliography. To add sources to the list of works cited, while in the References section, click on Insert Citation and choose New. Select the type of source from the drop-down list. Options are limited. Fill in the blanks. You must enter data correctly. Word will not make corrections. Click OK. Once you have created the list of works cited, it's essential you review it for accuracy and conformance to MLA standards. BIDME is very easy to use. One selects a source from the tabs at the top of the screen. Then, enter a book's ISBN or title or a website's URL, and BIDME will attempt to fill in the information for you. If it's unable to do so, it offers to let you manually enter information. Even the autofill option may need additional information manually entered. When you click Add to My Bibliography, a citation is drafted, and you'll have a chance to select the style you want the citation to be. The default is MLA, but other styles can be selected from the drop-down format list. EasyBib works just about like BIBME. Notice it offers all 58 options. That gives you a chance to select just the right type of source, and that may give you a more accurate citation. One big difference with EasyBib is that MLA is free, but you'll have to pay if you want any other style. Son of Citation Machine is a little bit different. You would select the style, then the type of source. Once that's done, the CG offers a page with fill-in-the-blank spots to help you create a citation. Notice that it gives you hints about how to format the information you put in each box. When using this CG, you are more responsible for entering data. One of the best ways to get citations done is to use the features now part of most subscription services. This example is for CQ Researcher. Once a report has been opened, there is a Cite Now button at the top of the page. Click on that, then on MLA Style, and voila, a citation is created for you. Notice in the example above how the default APA style is changed when MLA is selected. 
not only are the elements put in the correct order, but the difference in style requirements for author names and capitalization and punctuation are accommodated. Just copy and paste the correct citation right into your document. If you're using EBS CO Host, the Cite button will be on the right margin of the window when you're viewing a document. Click on it, scroll down to the correct citation type, and copy and paste it into your document. If you're using ProQuest, the Cite button will be at the top of the page on the left. When you click on it, you need to select the correct citation style, then click Change. You will then be able to copy and paste the citation into your document. Citation generators are valuable time savers, but none of them is perfect. So, use one you like to draft a list of citations, but then do the necessary editing to make certain the citations are in exactly correct format. Here are the most common errors that arise with generated citations. Not selecting the correct citation style. Sometimes you must select the citation style before you start. In other cases, it is chosen after the info has been typed in. Choosing the correct style will make your citations closest to form. Capitalization of titles. MLA requires that all significant words in a title be capitalized. APA format requires that the first word, proper nouns, acronyms, and the first word after a colon be the only capitalized words in a book, an article, or a chapter title. Some CGs capitalize all letters. Some capitalize the wrong ones. Placement of publication date. This is less of a problem if the style is MLA. If you're doing APA citations and a source has no author, a citation generator may place the publication date before the title. That must be changed. The publication date should never be the first element of any citation. Italics. Book titles and their subtitles are italicized. Periodical titles are italicized. Titles of articles are not italicized. Author order. Authors must be listed in the order they appear. If there are multiple authors for a text, list them in the order they appear. Do not put the author names in alphabetical order when entering information in a CG. The list of works cited or references should be in alphabetical order by author. If there is no author, then the first word of the title of the article is used, except if it is a, an, or the. In that case, the second word of the title is used. There is one other error that happens frequently with CGs that autofill, especially web pages being cited. They tend to pick up extraneous information or incorrect titles. This is due to the information embedded in the web page. Take a look at the examples on this slide. The top version is what comes straight from the BibMe citation generator. The second comes straight from EasyBib. The EasyBib version is more correct, but both need to be edited. The corrected version is shown at the bottom.